It has been a record year for passenger numbers at Charlotte Douglas International Airport. Customers have showed up in spades after the depths of the pandemic. It's also been a banner season for disrupted travel with passengers held up for hours in the terminal just waiting on delayed flights. The chief transportation correspondent and pilot May Kay Beeler shows us how one airline is working now to combat all the chaos. If you are a frequent flyer, you know that flight delays, they're par for the course. You're going to be stuck at the airport for a while, so what do you do while you're waiting? Would you rather relax here or here? Snack here or here? Chill out here or here? Thank you. Ever wonder what's behind that coveted door for those airport lounge clubs? Let's take a peek. Hi, good afternoon. How are you doing today? If you think an airport lounge is a clicky club for those other people, you know, various VIPs, business execs, the wealthy and well-connected, think again. It's just nice to be able to go in and it's a little quieter, get food and drink and be able to hang out. Really, it's anybody that wants to be cared for at an elevated level. You know, it used to be prior to COVID, the business traveler, right? They come to us every week, they're traveling around the world. Um, but now, you know, as COVID has hit and we've kind of readjusted the travel organization, um, there's a lot of leisure travel as well, which is wonderful to see. Michelle Battle is the premium services manager of American Airlines Admirals Club. She knows terminals are typically frantic. After all, it's the nature of the beast. Airport lounges like the Admirals Club tucked away within the terminal offer a breather from an otherwise chaotic concourse environment. We have food and beverage here that's complimentary. There's food for sale, premium beverages for purchase. Um, and really it's a quieter place to kind of get away from the hustle and bustle of the concourse. The Admirals Club offers comforts beyond those just outside its doors in the airport terminal itself. Comfortable seating, peace and quiet, charging points, desks, Wi-Fi and more. I have seen them going by. That's like a like a VIP like room where you go in and they serve you drinks. Yeah, I've seen them before. Any interest in those? No, not at all. They're very efficient. Yeah, they're very helpful if you do have those long layovers for sure. Club members are treated to many perks, including access to premium customer service reps. You also have access to one of us, which, you know, we're here to assist you if you've run into any travel disruption or you need to change a seat, you know, anything like that, we can, or change a flight last minute because something came up, you know, we can do all that here for you um, and make it seamless for you. They're very nice if you know about them, <laughs> right, but right. There, there's also a cost to them, but I like them. The Admirals Club can be accessed in various ways. There are complimentary perks and paid access. You can sign up for a membership at the door. Now, if you only travel once or twice a year, the best deal is the $79 day pass. You must present an American Airlines boarding pass to be admitted. The Admirals Club membership fee varies. The City American Airlines Executive Card includes the membership. Without the card or airline status, entry-level annual membership runs $850. That includes access to nearly 50 Admirals Clubs and 60 partner lounges worldwide. Our best asset is our team. You know, the food and beverage is wonderful. The quiet, you know, peacefulness of, of the lounge is also wonderful. But it truly is our, our team. And, you know, it's wonderful to see the, the relationships they create with those that do come back and, and, you know, are frequent travelers. Now, as you can imagine, every major airline, they do have their own lounges or clubs at certain airports, but here at Charlotte Douglas International Airport, it's only American Airlines and the Admirals Club. At Charlotte Douglas International Airport, May Kay Beeler, Queen City News.